the Expo. So in the Final Four, you know, your home state right there. There's a potential for that matchup. I know you guys have to get through the kind of first, but just was there a reaction? Wow, I can't believe we're both in it at the same time. One, I'm really happy for that program. I mean, I know Jordan Bell. I play on the same team as him in high school. Peyton Pritchard and me and him grew up playing against each other all the time. So just seeing them two uh, as two key factors make the Final Four, it makes me happy. Peyton's an Oregon rep. Yeah, like you said, that's my that's my state. So we have two have my school and then my state represented in the Final Four. That's very impressive. Would you play with Peyton? Was the AAU? I played against him. He played for Fast. Okay. And then he also went to West Lynn, and we played against each other. I went to Jefferson. And I played for ICP Portland. Was there any interest in you recruiting from Oregon at a high school, or is it with Gonzaga? I wasn't sure about your recruitment. If Oregon was ever in the picture. Of yeah, they were in the picture. They came in a little later, and I already had my mind made up that I was going to Gonzaga, so it didn't really like. Phase with my yeah. How late did they come in? Like, uh, I had verbally committed to Gonzaga. I had interest from Oregon already, but after my verbal, that's when they started getting more serious. But like I said, I wasn't really paying much attention because I already was coming in. Oregon guys, so many leave all the time to find a better opportunities. Do you think with Oregon down the final four, you know, get Peyton stay at home? Do you think more in-state guys might look at Oregon as a place that, okay, we can we don't have to leave the state to reach a certain level? Because obviously, Gonzaga for years has been the better program than Oregon for visibility and success. Do you think that might change? Um, <coughs> yes, to answer your question, yeah. I think a lot of high schoolers, you know, would love to play in-state. But, I mean, like, if, if you're asking a guy like me, that didn't have any... I didn't have any contribution to where I wanted to go play basketball. I was just where my best future would be at, and you know, Gonzaga was a place. But to answer your question, a lot of in-state players would love to play for you know in-state school, would love to represent the state. So it would be you know would be ideal for people to start going there more. I love this game. I mean, the two defensive-minded teams. That what kind of ball game you're expecting? A fist fight. I mean, it's gonna be really aggressive. You know, I was. I was listening to one of the coaches in the final four. He said only the Bulldogs, or not the Bulldogs, but only the, it's a dog fight and only the real dogs are going to win the games in the tournament. And top two defenses in the country, you can only expect, you know, tough basketball, tough on the glass, tough on defense at the end, hard to score, and that's that's going to be real fun. you got a guy who can really light it up, too. Can you talk about that and, and how that match is going to work out? Um, I always say this when we play good players. It's not just one player that's going to guard him. It takes all five guys to guard him. I mean, he's a big time scorer. He's averaging like 26 in the tournament. So obviously he can put the ball in the hole, but it takes a group of five and a whole unit to stop players like that. And that's been the MO for you guys, right? I mean, all season long, you've, you've taken everybody pretty much out of the equation every single time. Yeah, and that's what we try to do. So it's not just me, Nigel, or, you know, Jonathan or anything like that. You know, Shimmy, it's a defensive powerhouse down there. And then Perkins is good at defense. Matthews, I mean, we're all good. And if you put that together, that unit of defense, that should be real good for us. How crazy has it been just seeing all this, all these media, all the, the reception you've gotten when you come into the airplane, all of that? How crazy has it been? It's, it's, it's so surreal. I mean, just to see, walk to the hotel, you see pictures of our faces on the doors and stuff. That's that's amazing. It, it, it really makes you just humble down a little bit to just embrace the opportunity that we have here. That we're just in the Final Four. Not a lot of people get to do this. You just want to embrace it, have fun with it, and it's, it's going to be a memorable moment. How do you balance that, the having fun and enjoy this? Because the journey is always to the Final Four, and everybody kind of, you guys don't forget, but we kind of say the Final Four, but there is business to be done here. There is business to be done, and the NCAA makes it extremely hard to stay focused on that business. But, I mean, we're on a mission. We've been on a mission all year, so, I mean, we're going to enjoy that, but we're going to put that aside for, you know, 30 minutes of film that we may have or two hours of practice that we may have. we got to stay focused and stay serious.